So now that we've created the add to do function, what I'm going to do is pass it in to the form component. So add to do is equal to add to do. And then if I go into my form component and paste that in, we now have access to the add to do. So on submit on the button. So whenever we submit, we're going to run an anonymous function, which runs the add to do like so. And what we also want to do is pass in the event. So when we submit, we want to prevent the default behavior for a form. So if I save add to do, pass in the event and go back into the add to do function over here, we now have access to the event. I want to e dot prevent default, which default prevents the default behavior. So prevents the screen refreshing. And now if I save, Okay, and if I type in hello, I'm going to my console. Now, if I press add, sorry, we just need to change this to on click. And now save and click. So each time we click now, we have added to do logging on the console. So all we need to do now is in this function, add the to do to the database. So we need to pass the input value in here to the MongoDB database. So in our function, first off, what we need to do is add what is called a guard close. So basically when we click on the button or submit the button, we don't want to submit any data because there's nothing inside of the input when it is empty. So to the best way to access that is in an if block. So if the input dot length is equal to zero, then what we want to do is return no. So don't do anything. So what we are doing is coding defensively. We are saying that if there is nothing in the input, then we cannot submit essentially. And then if the length is greater than zero, what we want to do here is we want to await and we want to get axios dot post. So we essentially want to post the data in the input to the slash to do's endpoint. So axios.post slash to do's as the first argument. So that's where we are passing the data to. And then as the second argument, I'm just going to create an array. And in here is going to be an object. And first off, if there are any other to do's, we want to spread them. So we want to add the existing to do's into the body. And then we want to add in the new to do. So this is essentially, if we didn't spread the data in, what will happen is it will constantly overwrite the database. So we don't want to do that. And then the text. So if we go into our schema, so on our to do's here, we have a text field and a completed field. So what we want to do is the text is going to be the input so the state of the input so when we type we have the state of the input here and we also want to pass in completed which is a boolean value and this is always going to be false unless we update and set it true because we are adding to the to-do list so we are posting to the slash to-do's endpoint and then we are getting the existing to do's spreading them in we're not overwriting them and then we are adding to the text field the input so whatever is in the input and we're going to set the completed to false what we also want to do is set input to empty now because we have passed the data in so it will be empty and we also want to fetch the data once again because we have added to the the database so fetch the data again and then that should mean the to do has successfully been added so if i now save refresh the page and then i'm just going to type in this is my first to do and add so now in the to do's array at the top here we have fetch the data from the slash to do's endpoint we have added the to do of text input so that was the input that we typed in and completed as false so if we expand this we have an object within the array so the timestamps are created 
with the text this is my first to do with completed of false so that has worked correctly so what we need to do now is we need to take these console logs out first of all out as well now what essentially we need to do is display the to do's as a list on the screen so we need to create this to do list component now 